All right, today we're going to try a science experiment. This whole week we've been learning all about volcanoes. We've learned what kinds of volcanoes there are, how volcanoes form, all about the ring of fire, everything there is to know about volcanoes. Now it's time for us to try and make our very own volcano. Now, of course, it's not going to be the same as the ones that we see in nature, but it'll be very similar and we'll be able to experience our very own eruption right here in our front of our very own eyes. First thing we're going to need is we're going to need a cookie sheet. Something that we can just, that has a ledge around it that will hold on to all of the liquid that, and the lava that comes out of our erupting volcano. Then take an empty jar or bottle, just like I've done here, and cover it with clay. Any type of Play-Doh or newspaper or tin foil, whatever you want to make your very own volcano. Now, you can make it any kind of volcano you want. It can be any of the types that we've already discussed. What kind of a volcano do I have here? It has sloping sides, a big round top, nice open round top there, the caldera, the sloping sides of our volcano. What kind of volcano do you think this is? Go ahead and make your very own volcano. Try and identify all the different parts. You can even put trees or little places where the lava can flow down if you'd like to. Once you've completed that, and you've identified what type of volcano it is, we're going to go ahead and get ready for our eruption. Two ingredients that we need. We need baking soda and we need vinegar. We're going to take a few scoops of our baking soda. We're going to go ahead and put them right down on inside our volcano. I want it to be a big eruption because my kind of volcano always has really big eruptions. Okay, now we're going to take about one cup of our vinegar. We're going to pour our vinegar in here and we're going to see what happens. Whoa! There goes. our volcano. Now let's talk a little bit about what makes this happen. Baking soda and vinegar, when it's combined, causes a chemical reaction. It releases carbon dioxide. So when the carbon dioxide builds up down with inside of the volcano, it causes pressure. That pressure is what makes all of that magma and debris and ash and gas come up down from inside of the volcano's core all the way up and out to release that pressure. Then of course once the magma is released, it hits the atmosphere, it flows down the sides of the volcano and out here becoming lava. Once the lava dries, just as we've learned, do you remember what, that hap what happens then? Exactly, a volcano is formed. Now you can do all kinds of cool different experiments with this volcano. Why don't we try, why don't you try making your very own volcano and maybe putting some debris in there and see if the pr pressure you create is strong enough to shoot the, that debris out of, the, out of your volcano. Have lots of fun!